I will share you my story of how I decided to divorce. So it's the first time when my ex cheat me, right? I was like, yeah, we have a problem. Let's fix it. Mm -hmm. So when you say that as a partner, I don't judge him. Okay, I don't judge him. I want to be a teammate with him as a couple. Let's fight together to keep it married. Mm -hmm. If you're not happy with me or something, do you feel that our relationship is something wrong? Then we should go for it together. Mm -hmm. And he say nothing wrong. I'm just, <laughs> I just because I'm giving birth a baby, I'm not attractive anymore, and he's stressed, and he go and find other woman. I said okay, cool. He said he don't love the woman. I said okay, cool. And I move on and forgive him and live with that with myself. Now, uh, please, when you listen to this story, don't think like, oh, now you talk it so easy. with me move on. You talk bad about person. I don't talk bad about him. I'm just explain to you. Everybody is that different. You can use certain tools to save your marriage if you want to. If but, both people want. To. Yeah, but if only you want and your partner don't want, then too bad. We have to decide, are you want to stay back or you leave? So I'm just explaining to you one of example is like my this story. This is her story. My story. I don't mm -hmm. bring home and think that it's like everybody the same. I don't say everybody the same. I just sharing my personal experience with my story. Mm -hmm. So when a second time happened, it's the same thing, right? So now I have to question myself. Is it really my fault that I didn't force him in the first place to go fix the problem? Because it looked like a repeated mm -hmm. cycle. You know what I mean? Like, it's not a like a it's the no same thing but a different person. Huh? Yeah, it's just the mm -hmm. same thing but different person. So what the issue this time around that if he say no problem and this time it's different, he say he fall in love. So oh, lovely. Yeah, so lovely that he lovely. honest to me that he like this so time lovely. he fall in love. So I'm like I meant that sarcastically, by the way. <laughs> so I just, I'm not giving him my blessing, sorry. Yeah. And then this time I say the same thing. I say I believe we we really have a problem i don't say he have problem i say we have problem mm -hmm. because when i decide to marry someone i believe that we are as the same team you know the problem is our the enemy not i enemy him like i know enemy yeah, I with you like the a problem is the what we should fight mm -hmm. but when the more i'm explain to him my view of we have we have to fight with each other for this problem we have to figure out what is this problem i don't have that knowledge you don't have that knowledge let's go for like psychology counseling married and everything i'm willing to pay for that because i believe if we if we go for it and if we fix the marriage we can work hard to pay back the bill you know mm. you get I mean? like i don't think the bill is a really issue and then yeah of course i i signed a lot of like staff to go with him and then he didn't go with me he didn't he did he and he calling me on the phone and tell me up front that you are right it have nothing to do with money it's just me so you know like it's just something that people lie 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 over the time and then they don't want to deal with the real issue that you never look at the problem as the same way as me so now it becomes with something else it's called self defensive and self choice and self decision right so he have his decision of i don't want to go on this because i don't believe in this I decide to I want to save the marriage and I want to go with it. So so how do you agree? Oh, the intention is different already. Yes, so so that's what I say when come to what Danny say is like when you know that you need to be ready. I say even you ready, you don't know if the person is ready. You know, mm -hmm. like and the people will never be ready. And sometimes you just have to choose between stay back or leave, you know. So sometimes you choose between yourself and someone else that you love. Yes. And that's very difficult. I yeah. Think. And I don't want to talk bad about on this like 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 coaching and all that, but let's book it this way as well. Did they really care of you or they just care of like you come, you have to pay for them no matter what. Mm -hmm. Right? So you also have to be clear that self-learning, find the knowledge, open your heart, open your soul, really do research first. Because if a two person willing in then great, you know, <laughs> as long as both of you mm -hmm. open and that's amazing. You just need a, a normal like you say, doctor also can solve mm -hmm. the problem. But if one of the persons stubborn, because I have few few person come here for me to coach, and she told me she very willing, and he come there and he just tell direct to the counseling that I come here just because of her. I never, I never understand why we need to pay money for this anyway. But yeah, just say. So it means he there, but he not there either. But well, sometimes I feel that. I understand where you're coming from, mm. uh, that both parties have to be willing. Yes. Of course. But the thing is that sometimes, right, by the guy being there, even if it's for her, just mm. for the wife or for the partner, it mm. shows that 
there is he may not believe in this method mm. but he is willing to do something to save their marriage yeah so that is a positive sign i believe lah. yeah that's a positive. i mean maybe he doesn't believe in this particular method mm. but he does want to save the marriage that's why he is yes. willing to come over correct even if he's not he's a bit like uh, reluctant and all that yeah but so long as he comes over i think there's a chance and i and i think that um, like what you say as as audience as as um as pay, as uh, clients patients whatever you call yourself mm. uh we need to do our own research yeah. but i also believe in you know when you go to somewhere whatever that person is, whether it's a doctor whether mm. it's a therapist a counselor whether the person actually really cares about you or not you can feel it yes yes and i would say that's so right correct and i would say like whether it's a therapist doctor or anyone even as a friend you can feel whether the person really cares for you or not yes right so you then have it, to trust your instinct yes correct. right that's how we should say like instinct and your and the essence that the person is giving off mm, like that's so um, true. okay this is nothing to do with sex therapists uh, yeah but, uh over the weekend over the weekend i actually went to the law firm uh do up some uh papers it's called the lasting power attorney so for example if let's say one day i uh lost my mind i become crazy or senile etc um mm. this document that i signed with the lawyer is to it's a lawful document that says that okay this person is the one that is going to be taking care of mm. me mm. uh so this person will decide whether he uh, he or she will send me to a home whether they will uh hire a caretaker mm. uh, what food they will feed me that kind of things are uh, mm. the daily things okay and and then when i went there to the law firm and it it was very very clear that the lawyer really didn't care about us at all yeah they were just there to sign some papers but at the same time, okay, my sister also used to work in law firm. Yeah. Uh, her ex-boss, which is mm. the lawyer of the place, really cares about his clients. So then, then that is very, even so, okay, the lawyer, the lawyer wasn't there uh, to, okay, so basically to sign the, the paper, you need to be witnessed by the lawyer. Yes. Okay. The lawyer wasn't there physically, by the way. Mm. It was done via Zoom. Yeah, now they all Zoom. Yeah, so I think because of COVID, uh, they have legalized certain Zoom things. So as yeah, my divorce is on Zoom. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So long as it's recorded, uh, it's legal. Yeah. Because last time cannot one. Yeah. Uh, but now COVID. So now COVID, no there's no okay. choice. Yeah. So I, I divorce on Zoom. By the way, if you guys are curious, <laughs> so, I divorce on Zoom. So so so, so, so it's so it's so it's understandable. But the thing is that even through the screen, right, I could feel that he was. Not-